Hello, this is Steve Wilson in the XCraft's ERJ Family Video Tutorial Series. This video is just a simple introduction to the ERJ cockpit, so let's turn on some power so that we can see what's what just a bit better. I'm going to use a quick look to go to the overhead panel. I'll turn on my batteries and avionics. And I use another quick look to return to the forward view and silence the alarm. Uh, clearly, quick look views uh, make things a lot easier in the cockpit that you can get from place to place very quickly. Look at the console, look out the right window, look at the overhead panel, look at the autopilot panel, look at the ICUS, look at the FMS, back to the forward view. Easy as a button and uh, it's all covered in our aircraft manual. Uh, a lot of other good material is covered in that manual, so we do recommend people give that a quick read when you get a chance. An additional convenience besides quick looks is to pop up the main glass panels. Just click on the center and they pop right up. Makes them a lot easier to read. Click on the center to, to put them back in their bezels. You can click on the yoke and hide it as well. In the left hand side of the cockpit at the bottom we have accessibility for our 3D FMS, radio, and thrust rating panel pop-ups. Uh, some folks like 2D panels, uh, some folk, folks like 3D pop-ups, so we give the best of both worlds. Got you covered. And of course, speaking of 2D, if you move your mouse cursor to the far left and to the bottom of the screen, towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see our little pop-up menu tabs. The first menu item is your ground menu. You can move it any place you want. You can resize it, and as you go out to the outside of the aircraft, you can open up doors. You can activate your safety cones. You can remove your engine covers. You can add the ground power unit. So let's button it all back up and get back inside the aircraft. After that menu, we have our frequently asked questions, our FAQ. Help is definitely here, and you can put your help any place on the screen you want, and you can resize it as well. Four pages of good data, just in case you get stuck in the middle of a flight, you won't have to deke out to the manual. We also have a pop-up FMS. It's the same FMS that's in the center console. You can also pop out the uh, x -plane FMS if you wish. Note that the FMS also has direct keyboard entry. And you can exit DKE by either pressing the tab key or clicking in the scratch pad area. And last but not least, of course, we have checklists. What aircraft would be complete without checklists? You can resize the checklists and move them any place you wish. Access the tabs by clicking on the right hand side as you normally would. You can close the checklist by clicking on the top right hand corner or you can click in the menu tab again. And that about covers it. If you have any questions, be sure to check out the FAQ tab or visit us at xplane.org uh, for the ERJ Family Forum. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.